Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy rain cloud using Niagara particle systems. Let's jump into it. So I'm going to be using this raining environment as a base. If you'd like to learn how to make this rain effect, you can find my online course, which takes you through all the Niagara weather effects below this video. But for now, we're going to be taking this rain effect and we're going to be building a rain cloud that's going to be above it. And it's going to look like that's what the rain is coming from. And it's a very simple effect. What we're going to do first is right click in some empty space and create a Niagara system. I'm going to create an empty system here and I'm going to call it NS underscore rain cloud. All right, I'm going to double click that to open it. So now we have an empty Niagara effect. What I'm going to do is going to be right clicking in the empty space and adding an emitter. And what I'm going to choose to add here is hanging particulates. Once I've added that, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And just so I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to drag it into my environment here and I'm going to move it all the way up into the sky here about where the cloud should be. Move my camera back. All right, so we have some hanging particles being simulated in our scene. What we're going to be doing is turning those into clouds. So double click on your Niagara system to open it again. In the sprite render, I'm going to click on it. And under the material, under render in sprite renderer, I'm going to click on that and come to the material section here. And where it says default sprite material, I'm going to type in smoke, which is going to let us use the smoke material basis that comes with Unreal Engine in order to start building our clouds. So I'm going to click on that. And I know from using this material that it's using a sub UV texture. And what that means is that it has a bunch of different versions of cloud images in a row going across and going down. And we can check that by opening the material and coming over to the texture that we're using. And if we open it, we can see I have a few different cloud versions going across and it's actually eight across and eight down. So I'm going to come back to my Niagara system here and come to the sub UV section and change it to eight by eight. And next I want to come to the initialized particles and I want them to be quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to have the under the sprite attributes and sprite size mode. It's random uniform, which is what we want, but I'm going to be changing the uniform sprite size minimum to 600 and the maximum to 800. And we're going to see how that looks. Right away in my environment, you can see the cloud starting to build itself over the rain, which looks great. I'm going to come over here to the shape location in my particle system and make it quite a bit bigger. We don't need to make the cloud taller, just wider and deeper. So under shape location, I will find a box size, which comes with the hanging particulates preset. And I'm going to come here and I'm just going to up the X to 1000 and the Y to 1000. Hit save. If I minimize, that is going to give me a pretty large rain cloud that's going to spawn over top of my rain, completing my effect. If you found this video helpful, shoot me a thumbs up. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I go in more depth into particle weather effects, which you find on the online course below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.